Hey, it's Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'm going to be drawing a 3D piping schematic and then turning it into 2D. Reason being is I want to see this 2D drawing as a simple single line hidden drawing. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to stay tuned. I'm going to show you some tips here and there to help you get started quickly. So come down here, let's turn on the ortho mode F8 and then We'll go into 3D view by choosing this and then coming down and choosing Southwest Isometric. To scroll up, we'll just use our scroll wheel to zoom up a little bit and then we will load the pipe and fitting utility in MECQ. And then here, we're gonna make sure our 3D is toggled on and then we're going to choose our straight piece of pipe here and then click view draw. And here I can just choose any point in my drawing, come down, let's say two feet, just type it in two feet, and then over two feet, and then press enter. And when we press enter, it puts that last piece of pipe in for us. So let's go ahead and put a flange on, and we'll choose draw, and we'll draw a double flange in. We can just press enter for our last point put the flange in where we left off and then we'll put a valve in. So we're just picking and choosing uh, these fittings from that menu. We want this one as we're placing it on the end. So we'll pick that, we'll press enter again and then we'll locate our actuator up here and then we'll exit. So this is basically what our drawing looks like. Now what we can do is in order to convert this into 2D, we'll just type in the flat shot command, F-L-A-T, and then you should see it populate. And choose enter. I usually just turn this off. You can experiment with that. And then we want to insert this as a block. So that's really all we need. Then we just choose create. Then that creates our drawing here. Because we're in a 3D view, it's gonna look a little bit uh, skewed. Just press enter three times to rotate it in. And now we can go into the top view and now the drawing looks correct. But we can now go into the layout and we can look at this here. Type in MS for model space and then type P for pan to kind of pan this over. We want to turn off these layers. I did this in a previous video, but I'm going to show you how to do this again. Since this is on layer zero, you can see it here at layer zero, we can move this to a new layer. So let's type in LA for layer, and let's just create a new layer up here. We'll just call this our single line layer here. And then what we can do is take this, because it's a block, we can select it and then just move it to that S line layer and then exit. Go back into our layout and then typing in MS for model space to activate the viewport. And then we can just type in LAY freeze, FRZ, and then freeze these pieces here so they don't show up. Then type in PS for paper space. Now that we're, we've got this drawing ready to plot, we can just type in plot. Normally I just choose the monochrome here and we're printing our layout. And let's just go ahead and preview it. So this is all ready to go. I hope this has helped and let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video.